What up, what up, Wimbush here, and today I'm excited to show you guys a new tutorial for Unreal Engine. Now, a lot of you guys know me as a motion graphics guy, but most recently I've been using Unreal. Not really using it, but just learning it, you know, um, whenever the guys from Quixel posted up their latest short film that inspired me to even dive into Unreal even more, because I think real-time rendering is the future. And so, this video is for Big Mike. He had a question for me about Unreal, about bringing in terrain and UVs. And so, I'm going to try to help you out as best I can. Like I said, I'm still a beginner, but let's get right into it. I'll show you what I know. And so, right now, I'm going to go to terrain.party because I want to use black and white images to make it terrain and unreal. Now, you could use a whole plethora of different um, programs. Like, I use World Creator. Some people use Gaia. Some people use World Machine. Or you could paint your own terrain in Photoshop with the black and white tools. But just for this example here, I want to show you that you can actually use real-world data to make terrain in Unreal. And so what I'm gonna do is come over here to this blue marker and where it says typographic imagery, I'm gonna click on this so that I can get a better representation of where I'm gonna be at. And it only does this part for certain regions. You could use this website to pull data from all over the world, but for this part in particular where you can see like a satellite view of what we're looking at, you have to only it's like only in certain regions and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually look for my hometown i was born in pittsburgh pennsylvania there we go so let me pull in actually i could pull up the data here i'm from baldwin in pittsburgh pennsylvania so i can actually pull in my old neighborhood so we're going to bring my old neighborhood into unreal engine and run around and so from here, once you have selected in your box the area that you want to get data from, you're going to come over here to this little cloud looking icon and click export. And then you can call it whatever you want. Like I'll just call it Pittsburgh and then click OK. And so what this is going to do, it's going to compress a few files for you. So it gives you around four to six different images in the zip file that we see here. So I'm going to click save. And then it's going to give us a zip file. And then once I open up that zip file, we're going to have about, like I said, four to six images. So let me go to my images here. And so it gives us these, this dim data and they're different resolutions. And so I think the best one is this Aster 30. This should be the sharpest. But from what I was reading, this merged right here, this merge map, that's like the best of all these maps put together. So I'll probably end up using this merged map here. But if you um, if you want to click through all of them, you can see like some of them have more sharper images than others. So we'll just use the merged image here since that's like the best of all worlds. So now let me jump into Unreal. And I'm going to come over to my upper left hand corner where it says landscape. So I'm going to click on landscape and usually it starts with this create new, but I want to import from file. So under height map here, this is where we're going to use our black and white image. So let me click on this. And like I said, I'm going to use the merge map here. Click open. And it's going to give us like an outline area of our terrain now usually this will come in at a hundred right here on the Z scale but that's gonna be too bumpy for us to run around in I mean we could do that but let's bring this Z axis down maybe like 25 and that gives us uh, the wireframe gives us a representation of what our terrain is gonna look like so if I click import and give us a few moments now it's going to make a terrain based off that map data so if i click on play here our character is going to drop in we can actually run around here and this is all terrain used from that map data so from here you know you could go in you could sculpt your terrain any way that you like and then i know mike was saying that sometimes he's having trouble with uvs um like I said, I'm still you. I'm still new to all this stuff, but I have a um, 
I have a map already brought in here from Mega Scans to Solo Dirt. So if I clicked on my landscape and then come under here under landscape and go to landscape materials, whenever I put this on here, it's going to take a few moments, but everything seems to UV out pretty fine. So I know you were saying that you're bringing stuff in from cinema, but maybe try this method of using grayscale maps to make your terrain. So now that I'm back into Unreal, we see that we have our map textured out on our terrain and it's all pretty even. Now no, this is pretty ugly, but this is just a quick and dirty way of showing you guys how to put the textures on there. And so as I get better with Unreal, I'll start doing more tutorials, especially on the texturing aspect. I know there's a guy out there, um, Joe Garth. He has a plugin called Brushify. I would suggest looking that up because it looks really intuitive or I'm making these landscapes look really nice. And so, you know, if you guys um, have any more questions about Unreal, I'll try my best to answer them. But like I said, I'm, I'm a novice at this. I just literally started this year. And so leave a comment below, you know, subscribe to the channel as I post more videos and keep creating. I'll see you guys next time.